segment three, the myth that happened, the crucifixion of Jesus of Nazareth, Luke chapter 23. Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man, and the people smote their breasts. You hit the right spot there because you, you mentioned immediately what myth cannot say. Myth never see that the victim is innocent. You see. Oedipus really did kill his father and mother. He really did bear That's guilt. That's right. You know, and the first interpreters of the myth took it quite seriously because they saw violence as the main business of myth. And therefore, they believed it was a real murderer who had been uh, killed. In reality, it's an imaginary murderer, a scapegoat. But the community believed in his guilt. The community believed in his guilt. That's why the community wanted to repeat these things, thought that the God was teaching them to repeat it on new, more victims. That's why they invented sacrifice. All right. And so when in the Golden Bough, Fraser suggests that Christianity, and it, he has as much of a shock in yeah. late 19th century, the West, as did Darwin. Yeah, but at he's least... less known now, but he's, it's still a huge, that Christianity is nothing but one more myth that takes the pattern of the dying and resurrected God. And Fraser believed it, and so intellectuals to this day believe it. And you answer how? I answer very simply that uh, Fraser was perfectly right to point to the similarities between myth and Christianity. In both instances, you have a, a victim who is killed by an entire community and who becomes the god of, or who becomes, or who is, who has always been, in the case of Christ, of the community. What Fraser didn't see, which is the simplest thing of all, and should convince everybody immediately, you know, if they were honest, that Christianity is very different from mythology while being the same. It's exactly the same situation. Is that Christianity tells you that Christ was innocent, whereas all myths tell you the victim is guilty. The victim is a god. But gods are guilty characters. They are dangerous characters. They can be good to you through strange circumstances that are not very easy to understand, but they can also do all sorts of bad things, right. which is not the case of Christ. Simply, Christianity tells you Christ is innocent. And people don't see the, that it's the first time in the history of mankind that a myth occurs which is read not falsely, with the victim guilty, but with the victim innocent, sent by God himself. If God allows scapegoating to happen, it's because he wants humanity to exist and so forth. But uh, of course, Christ is very different from any other scapegoat, and he's the son of God, and uh, he um, is misunderstood when people see him as exactly the same thing as mythical heroes. He's a mythical hero, but he's innocent. Rene, why, this is the, 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 the question of soteriology, if I am pronouncing it correctly, the theologians, the theology of the cross. What changes when this innocent God-man dies on the cross? How does that affect human understanding? Why is that a saving event? Well, because if you read <clears throat> uh, the mythical situation the way I just did, you see, you can see there is something which is not purely human about it. We are offered all these victims and we uh, take them for culprits and so forth. In the case of Christianity, there are a few disciples who say, no, no, he's not guilty, who maintain to the end that he is innocent, whatever people may say about him. Therefore, they say the truth simply. They say a, a truth which is anthropological before being religious, but which is the same thing. 
And so Christ's death on the cross frees humankind from this yes. deep, profound, inescapable, and largely hidden cycle of the scapegoating impulse. Yes. It oh, potentially it does. It does. And Christianity asserts certainly that it does, that it's the only true religion, and that it says the truth about man and about God. But very few people take these statements seriously, as you well know. And Why? they should take them Why? literally. Why? You have said well, it several points it's, out. It's obvious. But, Once you see it, it's the yeah. simplest. Christianity is different. And yet, you, and, and yet they we don't, don't want it. it. They don't yeah. want it. But you, you know as much about that as I do. I mean, I, we just have to see the fact that they don't see both. The, they, you see, the Christians don't dare see the similarity because they are too timid. If you They're tell afraid them, that Christianity may be one of May be myth. a myth. Therefore, they refuse to say the situation is the mythical one. But they say the truth about it, and there is no more myth. Christianity destroys mythology.